channel progress with professor mahamani uh, first of all i thank all the viewers and subscribers for your continuous support those who are uh, watching this video without subscription please subscribe my channel uh, please like the video and share the video to the phd scholar irrespective of uh, the discipline uh, in this video i am going to talk about uh, 10 best apps or softwares for the phd students Friends, uh, this uh, 10 apps or software it will be useful to the PhD student to complete their PhD uh, in right way and uh, well in time. So let us go to the first one. The first software is uh, Microsoft OneNote. So this is a Microsoft Office tool uh, along with your Word, PowerPoint, Excel sheet. This is one of the tools. It is not uh, recognized by many of the people. But this is a very good uh, tool for the research scholar. By using this, you can capture the picture, you can organize, you can share this uh, note to your supervisor or your uh, research team. So here, uh, I prepared uh, for my schedule. For example, uh, you look at the image, uh, at the bottom of the image, you have a, a text, you have a picture and a voice recorder and attachment. First, you look at that, I am putting some text note, text note. Then I am, uh, uh, by using cam, I am take, uh, taking the picture, so that picture directly it will be added. Then I am putting some voice recording, this voice recording it will go up to 3 minutes. Uh, then finally attachment. So this uh, Microsoft OneNote, you can use it as a notebook and uh, sketch. Uh, uh, for example, uh, you are giving some file name and uh, keep it in your mobile. If you want to uh, take that, by using search option, you can take it. Uh, their uh, date, time, everything will be available. Date, time, everything, I think you can uh, see it in the image at the top. Uh, date and time all are available. Uh, here the advantage is, this uh, Microsoft OneNote, while you are in traveling, you can't uh, bring your research notebook with you. So that uh, by using mobile, uh, you write out the notes. By using just a uh, pencil, uh, you need not, uh, scriber may not require. By using finger itself, you can take notes and you can type, the, type your notes. And suppose if you want to take a photo of any image, you can take it. Then uh, uh, some text, text is more, uh, you can read and you can store it as a voice recorder. And you can attach, uh, if you want to attach anything like email attachment, you can attach. So attach file it is available at the bottom. Next to voice recorder, it is available. So this is the more useful tool. It was not uh, recognized by the research scholar. So this is a very good tool. If you are using this uh, while traveling also, you can do it some work. If I go to second one, uh, the Trillo, uh, this is the uh, business management purpose, the software it is used. So now I am uh, redesigning this uh, Trello software for the research work. So you can use this particular uh, software or app for research progress management, research progress management. So normally reason for uh, using this, uh, the PhD supervisor and the student, there is no connection between them, right? Whenever uh, the project review meeting is there or the uh, uh, DC meeting is there, that time only the PhD students will meet the gate. So this is a wrong practice. So each and every work, your supervisor should monitor. This is my concern. So here, uh, what to do with the Trello software, you have a board, you have a board. Just you register and log in, you will get a board like that. You look at the image. So on that image, uh, three things are there. One is things to do, doing, and uh, third one is uh, done. Things to do, doing and done. Uh, here what to do is, at the starting of your work, uh, you list out your activity. For example, today I am uh, purchasing material, I am doing literature review, writing paper, uh, doing experimental work, everything, you add it. Uh, so you list the activity, that you give it into the things to do. Then uh, while progressing, once the work is completed, you put it, uh, sorry, list it is available. Then whatever work you are doing, currently doing, you put it, you bring that uh, particular option into the board, that particular activity into the doing board. Then work is completed, you move to done. So that your uh, supervisor can, uh, uh, whenever you want to review, you can review. So what is your activity, what you are exactly, what is the list of activity, what you are doing, what uh, the work is already completed. So this is the way you can collaborate with your PhD supervisor, not only your supervisors, or, uh, even some research collaborators also. You can uh, put your activity and schedule. So it is a very good software to do. Uh, and uh, one more option in this software is you can share the image, you can share the text, you can share the files. And uh, so once you complete it, this is very easy. Just you can add your supervisor email, then you give update, uh, immediately you will get a notification to your supervisor. 
then uh, supervisor if you want to communicate if you want to give a suggestion there is a comment box is there supervisor he will type his comment and give if any deviation or anything you want to communicate so that uh, the uh, the complete uh, student supervisor engagement uh, can be happened if you are using this uh, software properly this is a very good uh, software to collaborate with your guide and your research team so if you go to third one GIMP software. So this is a free and open source image editor. Uh, this can be used for uh, photo retouching, uh, image composition, image editing. So you have a lot of uh, color, lot of shape, and uh, various effects you can bring it and typography. So here uh, the research color, uh, what we use is, for example, you are uh, taking a photograph of experimental setup. Suppose that uh, experimental setup you take a photograph, but background it is very poor. You have some wire and. Uh, uh, some uh, ugly writing on the wall everything. So if you want to remove the background, uh, you can use this software. So this is a very good uh, software. And if you want to uh, add the images, add the images, some semi-images, uh, material scientists will do semi-images and XRD images, sorry, semi-images and uh, edX images, they will bring it together. So adding together. So the, this is called image composition. And one more very important work is uh, the citing, citing the various component. Your one picture is there, you need to mark the different component. For marking the software, it is very, very useful. If, if you go to fourth one, uh, Mendeley, so this one uh, is a very popular one. Uh, this can be used for reference management. So uh, today's uh, business scholars, you need not type any reference or anything. Suppose if you want to write an article by using 30 article, that uh, bring it, uh, that uh, 30 article you bring it into the Mentally folder. So Mentally it is a user friendly software. You can add in so that uh, add in into the Microsoft Word itself. So for example after completing your uh, typing, uh, what to do? Already your reference, that the papers are uh, added into your Mentally software. Directly you go and select, select the PDF file. So automatically the, you will get the citation and uh, reference. There reference also, uh, different references you can add it, like APA, IEEE, so different uh, reference style available. Just use change the reference style, automatically come. So research scholar, you need not uh, waste your time for typing the list of reference. List of reference, I think, uh, really at the time of doing our PhD or uh, one of my students work, really we struggle. You will spend a week time to do this. But if you are using Mendeley software, you need not do anything. Just uh, that, uh, keep the PDF file and select automatically reference will come. Uh, even you can change the APA style. APA, suppose if you want to go for IEEE, you can change it. So this is, uh, you can insert the citation and reference within the Word file itself. This is a very, very useful tool, right, for the business scholar. If we go to fifth one, uh, Grammarly, I think Grammarly, uh, one of the popular uh, software for check the gra uh, grammatical errors. So English language digital writing tool. This is called English, uh, English language digital writing tool. It offers grammar checking and then spell checking. Uh, this software also provides uh, with a uh, suggestion uh, about the writing, clarity, transition, vocabulary, delivery style and tone. So everything it will provide. And in this software you can add it into a browser extension. By using browser extension you can bring it into your email, everything. You can uh, you can go for MS Office uh, addition also. If you are adding, then Grammarly will come into uh, Word file itself. While typing whatever grammatical error comes, uh, automatically it will indicate and it will give the suggestion how to rewrite it so that you can uh, easily edit your software without any grammatical error. If you go to sixth one, uh, thesis.com. So this particular software uh, it will be used to uh, improve the vocabulary, provide a technical jargon, any technical word is there so that you can get it. And it will give, provide more synonyms to remove the plagiarism. So uh, plagiarism removal, there are two ways. One is, uh, uh, by putting synonyms, remove the plagiarism. This is so one way. Another one way is a rewriting. That rewriting, I think, I am not advising. So, uh, rewriting the meaning, uh, meaning difference will be there. The sentence accuracy, the meaning, uh, everything it will be different. So that we need to be careful. But uh, I suggest uh, all the PhD scholar you go with uh, thesis.com. Right? Uh, suppose uh, 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 three words are plagiarized. In between one word, you give the synonyms. So this particular thesis.com, it will give 10 to 15 synonyms for a particular word. So you uh, just check the synonyms. From the 15, you pick one suitable word in that particular sentence. This is the way you can easily remove the plagiarism. If you go to seventh one, uh, math type, this math type already I given, uh, uh, already I put a video. Uh, this is the equation editing software. Uh, this, uh, this will be supported in the Word file also. Just uh, install, uh, install it, it will come into the Word also. So 
So one of the major advantages easily you can uh, this is a user friendly. So already video I clearly given the demonstration. You can add it into the word also, right? Uh, type it into the math type uh, window, then copy and paste it into your uh, MS Office software. I mean Microsoft Word software. This is a one of the very user friendly tool for editing the equation. If we go to eight one. Uh, small SME tools for plagiarism checker. This plagiarism checker, I advised the student to go with uh, MTech student and PhD students. Uh, though, uh, I think we don't have uh, the softwares like, uh, I mean, plagiarism checking software. I asked this advisor students to go with this. So, this is the free online plagiarism checking tool. So, uh, here uh, one time you can use a thousand words per check. Right? For example, your article 6000 word is there, you can uh, check it with. Uh, Six times, so six into thousand, six thousand uh, entire article you can complete it. So here important thing is, uh, here you need to maintain because it is a open access uh, plagiarism tool. You maintain zero plagiarism content so that uh, if you check with uh, some other uh, plagiarism exchequer or uh, some other uh, professional, I mean uh, high cost plagiarism checker tool, it will give seven to eight percent. So this is good. So uh, initially I asked the students to go with uh, this uh, this particular tool. Uh, once if you are maintaining zero, then uh, plagiarism exchequers and the other softwares, you will get uh, uh, less than seven percentage of plagiarism. So this is good. This is acceptable for maintaining. If you want to publish paper at Science Direct, Springer, Taylor and Francis, then you can go for uh, further editing so uh, for reduction of uh, less than five. Uh, the ninth one, uh, it is Origin Pro tool. It is a graph. Uh, you know, uh, at many, many, many of the research scholars they are using Excel sheets. Uh, this is the Origin Pro software. You can, uh, you can there are a lot of uh, advanced, advanced features also there. This is an interactive graphic and data analysis software. Runs on Microsoft Windows. That is important. You can uh, do the graph in Origin Pro software. You can bring it into the copy and paste it into the word file. Then uh, here the advantage is you can go for multiple y axis. Right? One x axis is there. X axis one. Another sorry, y, one y axis you keep it. Another y axis available here. You can put the graph so that uh, you can do the comparison. Excel sheet, uh, I think this is uh, this option it is not user friendly. And uh, here you can edit it. So uh, based on the data, uh, it won't come from 0 to 0. So that in between some gap will be there, otherwise uh, some typical readings if you are using Excel sheet. So all the lines are uh, comes one over the other, it is very difficult to analyze. Whereas this uh, particular software it will give the very good analysis. If you go to last one. Uh, the mini tab, I think uh, the mechanical engineering uh, PhD scholar we know. So, this particular tool is used to optimize, optimization purpose. Uh, this is the data statistical and the data analysis software package. So, here it automates the calculation. So, by using this mini tab, you can create the 3D graph and the interaction plot. For example, Taguchi interaction plot uh, if you want to generate, this is possible. And uh, this particular mini tab software, it will focus more on analysis of data and interpretation of the result. By using this, you can uh, go for Takuji experimental design or RSM, the response surface methodology experimental design you can generate and do your optimization. And for the, finally, the optimization and analysis, not only with this, uh, this uh, you can use variety of purpose. Uh, so with this, I conclude my video. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, those who are watching first time this video, please uh, support my channel by subscription. Please subscribe my channel and thanks for watching.